Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use cheats on a real 3DS. I get asked this question a ton, so I figured it was time for me to make a video on it. So, the first thing I want to say is, I'm assuming that your 3DS's firmware and all of its hacks and Luma are up to date of whatever the current version is as of June 4th, 2021. If that is not the case, um... Go do that, and then come back to this video after that's done. I will not be showing you how to do that. So, with that out of the way, the first thing I want you to do is go to the root of your SD card of your 3DS and make a backup of your boot.firm, because that is getting replaced with the boot.firm um, on this web page. I will link it in the description, so don't worry about that. So... After you have that done, I want you to go to the root of your SD card and go to Luma, Plugins, and I will have this default.7zip file in the link in the description. So don't worry about that. Open that up. Drag the default.3gx right here, right in Luma, Plugins. Just like that. Now... Go back to the root of your SD card. If you don't have a folder called Cheats, make one. And then go to the Mediafire link. I'll have the link for this in the description as well. Download it. And then after you are done downloading it, open it up. I have a folder for 3DS and Citra. Um, the 3DS folder is for real 3DSs, and Citra is if you're using Citra. So if you're using a real 3DS, use this one. If you're using Citra, use this one. I will be using the European version of Majora's Mask as an example for this, and I will be using the unupdated version of it. So, Majora's Mask has an easy to tell um, sign that if you're updated to the current version, which is 1.1, 1 .1, um, on the title screen on the bottom right, it'll have a tattle icon and it'll have 1.1. 1 .1, and that'll tell you if it's updated to 1.1. 1 .1. If it's blank right there, then you're on 1.0, simple enough. So, I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna drag this file to my cheats folder. Simple as that. Now, as far as setup goes, you are done. That's all we had to do. All we had to do was drag the .3gx file into the plugins folder and replace our boot.firm with um, the special boot.firm on this web page. So, I will head on over to Snickerstream and show you what the actual plugin looks like, how to use it, and where to find your codes. So, I will see you then. So, the next thing you want to do is open up the Rosalina menu by pressing the L button, D-pad down, and select at the same time. And you want to go down to Plugin Loader and make sure it's enabled. And then start your game. My screen flashes blue to indicate that the plugin is loaded correctly. And if you see Plugin Ready on your bottom on the bottom right of your top screen, it means the plugin is working. And all you have to do to load the plugin is just press select. Your cheats will be in the action replay tab, and they will be shown at the top. So all you have to do from here is just select the codes you want. Let me get one more. And then press select again to exit and I'll take you back. And now your codes are working as they should be. So, I hope that was useful for everyone. 
Uh, sorry it took so long to make this kind of video, but there are many ways to um, use cheats on a real 3DS, and I honestly had a hard time picking which one, but I think um, the CTRF plugin has always been the best, and I think Mankitas and Pablo MK7 have done a fantastic job, so yeah. See you next time. I think my next video I'll show you how to use them on Citra and where to put them. So yeah, see ya.